oriented with the external and internal issues of the brain scan. Okay, again, this is the interior and the posterior view of the brain stem. We already know that from the system. Okay, so the brain stem is, for, is divided into three parts. The superior part is the midbrain. Then the middle part is the pons. The superior part is the medulla. Okay, so that is the midbrain, the pons, and the uh, medulla. Okay, so this is the sagittal section of the brainstem, and you should also see or appreciate the ventricles or the cavities. At the level of the midbrain, the cavity is the aether. At the level of the pods, the cavity is the fourth ventricle. At the level of the medulla, it is divided into two. The cavity is divided into two. To do. The superior part, the cavity is the fourth ventricle and inferiorly the central canal. Okay? So let's begin with the medulla. This is the anterior view. Okay? We have a longitudinal fissure, fissure dividing the medulla into two equal halves. That is the anterior median fissure, fissure which is um, deeper compared to the posterior posterior median surface. Okay. Besides the anterior median fissure, you will see two swelling. Okay. Immediately after is the pyramid. Then okay, you can pass your manuals later. Please listen to the orientation because it's not a lot of it. Don't forget your manual. Nyo. Okay. Then lateral to the pyramid, you have another swelling, that is the olive. What is the cranial nerve that exceeds between the pyramid and the olive? Mga uh, kapatid, ano yung cranial nerve na yun? Manuals, you can pass your manuals later. What is the cranial nerve found between the pyramid and the olive? Huh? Ano? Cranial nerve number 12. Very good. Okay. At the inferior part of the medulla, you can see fibers running along the anterior median fissure, that is the pyramidal degussation or the great motor degussation. Okay. Again, that is the pyramidal degussation in which the um, pyramidal tract crosses to go to the other side of the medulla. Okay, that is the great motor degussation. Okay, posteriorly you have uh, important structures at the level of the medulla. Okay, that cavity here, uh, posteriorly, that the uh, diamond shaped cavity, that is the rhomboid fossa. Okay, that area rather is the rhomboid fossa, and the cavity is the fourth ventricle. Okay, you have the stria medullaris, which separates the pons from the superior part of the medulla. So you will see that line running along at the center of the uh, rhomboid fossa, that is the stria medullaris. Kindly look at your brain cell model. Mas makikita niya. Can you see the stria medullaris? Yung may mga brains na model. Nakita? Hindi. Nakita yung ibang class? Posterior view. Ayan, sa likod. Nakita niya? Nakita yung de. Ha? Okay, so this is the obex. And we have several cranial nerves, nuclei. 
at the floor of the Roman Porsche, Vigali that is the hypoglossal trigone and lateral to the bigger triangle. So this is uh, the posterior median sulcus. And lateral to the posterior, uh, posterior median sulcus, you have uh, the gracile tubercle, which supplies the lower extremity. The swelling lateral to the posterior median sulcus is the gracile tubercle. Again, that is for the lower extremity. Then inferiorly, it will become the fasciculus cruciis. Okay? The lateral to the gracile tubercle is the sphenic tubercle for the upper extremity. Inferiorly, it will continue to become the fasciculus cuneatus. Fasciculus because the tract passes through the fasciculus. The cuneate is where the nucleus is located. Okay, as you can see, swelling yung mga kunyo. Can you see, class, sa model? Yes, no? Yes. Okay. Okay, this is uh, the, um, at the level of the inferior medulla, that is the cut section of the medulla. Okay? So the inferior medulla is smaller compared to the superior part of the medulla. Okay, what are the structures that you have to look for? Okay, as I said earlier, inferiorly that is the fasciculus crucidis. Okay, so at the medial portion or lateral to the posterior median sulcus is the fasciculus crucidis. The lateral to the fasciculus crucidis is the fasciculus cuneatus. Again, this is where the tracts passes through the fasciculus gracilis and the fasciculus cuneatus. Inside, we have the nucleus gracilis and the nucleus cuneatus. Okay? So again, the cavity of the inferior part of the medulla is the central canal. Okay, anteriorly, that is the pyramid. Okay, this is the superior part of the medulla now. That is the inferior olivary nucleus lateral to the pyramidal nucleus. Okay, pyramid lateral. You will see the um, parang mga curly curl structures. Those are the inferior olivary nucleus. Okay. So again, the cavity of the superior medulla is the fourth ventricle. What are the nucleus located here at the level of the superior medulla? At the most uh, medial portion is the hypoglossal nucleus, followed by the dorsal vagal nucleus, and the, uh, the most lateral is the medial vestibular nucleus. Okay, so medial to lateral, hypoglossal followed by the dorsal vagal nucleus and laterally the medial vestibular nucleus. Okay. So let's go up at the level of the pods. This is the anterior part of the pods. Okay. Anteriorly you have a groove that is the vascular groove in which the vascular artery passes through. Okay. So we have also you can see these transverse uh, pontine fibers running along the body or the basal part of the pons. Okay. Laterally, uh, you have the middle cerebellar peduncle which connects the pons to the cerebellum. Okay. Again, this is an anterior view of the pons we shall find the basilar artery, trigeminal nerve laterally, the facial nerve, and the vestibular cochlear nerve. Okay. Posteriorly, that is the part of the pons posteriorly in which you'll see the peduncles. Again, the middle cerebellar peduncles connect the pons to the cerebellum. You have the superior cerebellar peduncle 
which connects the midbrain to the cerebellum, and the inferior cerebellar peduncle, which connects the medulla to the cerebellum. Those are the three peduncles, which are found posterior. Okay, this is the cross, uh, the cut section of the pods. Don't be mistaken, class. Now, when you see these fibers along the basal or the body of the pods, that is the clue that you are at the level of the pods. So, mga fibers niya. Pag nakita niya you know that you are at the cut section of the pods. That is the cut section of the pods, class. Okay, what is again the cavity of the pons? Have cavity of the pons. Na mag-exam na kayo next week. Okay, the pons is divided into two parts. Posteriorly, that is the tegmentum. Anteriorly. And there, really, that is the body of the pons or the basal part of the pons, in which you'll see these fibers. Okay? At the middle is where you'll find the trapezoid body. So, again, this is the posterior part. We call that as the tegmentum. And this is the anterior part. Okay? In which you'll see again the fibers. At the middle is where you'll see the trapezoid body. Okay? Look at the anterior part of the pons class, or the body of the pons, or the basal part of the pons. You will see white fibers. Those are the pontine nucleus. Okay, you have white fibers running along the body of the pons, that is the pontine nucleus. And the dark fibers are the transverse pontine fibers. Okay? So, baliktad. Yung nucleus ngayon at the body of the pons is white. Yung transverse pontine fibers, yun yung gray in color. Okay? Okay, now we go to the midbrain. That is the cruz cerebri connecting the midbrain to the cerebrum. Okay? Inferiorly, that is the interpeduncular fossa. And you have the posterior perforated substance there. Ano nga yung cranial nerve na lumalabas in between the two cerebri? Ha? What cranial nerve exists there? Mga kapatid, cranial nerve number. Parang hindi kayo na-orient ha. Kasama yan sa exam nyo this, ano, Friday. Any craps? Ano kaya yung nerve, mga kapatid? Ano kaya yung nerve yung sa midbrain? Three and four. Three and four. Mabili na lang kayo to. Di ba anteriorly you have cranial nerve number three, posteriorly you have cranial nerve number four. The cranial nerve number four is the only cranial nerve that exists posteriorly. Di ba? Okay. So this is the posterior part of the midbrain in which you'll see four swellings or collectively it is known as the corpora quadrigemina. Superiorly you have the two superior colliculi, posteriorly the inferior colliculi. Okay? Again, what is the function of the superior colliculus? Visual information. It is connected to what part of the diencephalon? Tapos na tayo dyan, mga kapatid. Lateral geniculate body. Well, the inferior colliculus is connected to the medial geniculate body via the inferior brachium. Diba? Inferior colliculus receives auditory information. Okay. So, when you cut or when you study the midbrain, Cut section, it will be divided into two. At the level of the superior colliculus and at the level of the inferior colliculus. Okay? So again, that is the trochlear nerve. Okay, so again, we cut 
or we study the internal structure of the membrane into the level of the superior and level of the inferior colliculus. Okay, this is at the level of the inferior colliculus in which you'll see the, again, what is the cavity? The ether. Right? Okay, so if that is at the level of the inferior colliculus, you will see the nucleus of the inferior colliculus here. Okay, that is the swelling. Kaya siya nakaumbuklas kasi because of the presence of the nucleus. Okay. At the, so, uh, before we proceed, the midbrain is divided into three parts. The, pro, the front section. Here you have the tectum, the tegmentum, and the pedunculum. Huh? Tectum, tegmentum, and the pedunculum. This one, class, you have here the tectum, the middle part, and the tegmentum, and you have the pedunculum here. Okay. So the tectum is posteriorly, the peduncle is the inferior part. Okay. At the middle portion, class, you will see the decussation of the superior cerebellar peduncle. At the tegmentum class is where you'll see the decussation of the superior cerebellar peduncle. Okay, so yang buong yan, yang puting yan, that is the decussation of the superior cerebellar peduncle. The tectum, the tegmentum rather, is um, divided from the cruse cerebri or the peduncle by the substantia nigra. Okay, substantia nigra. And anteriorly, that is the cruise cerebri. Okay? Nakawa class? Okay, at the level of the superior colliculus, again, you have the nucleus of the superior colliculus. Now, at the tegmentum, you will see two round structures here. Yeah, nakikita niyo yung dalawang bilog na yan, class, at the level of the tegmentum. At the area, rather, of the tegmentum, that is the red nucleus. So when you see, class, the red nucleus, you know that you are at the level of the superior colliculus. Kasi kanina, at the level of the inferior colliculus, or the inferior part of the midbrain, isang structure lang yan nandito sa gitna. That is the decussation of the superior cerebellar peduncle, di ba? Natandaan na kanina, class? Okay. Balik natin. Ayan, no? That is at the level of the inferior part of the membrane. At the tegmentum, at the middle portion, you will only see one structure here. That is the decussation of the superior cerebellar peduncle. At the level of the superior colliculus, you will see two round structures at the area of the tegmentum. Can you appreciate the difference, class? Can you see the difference? That is the red nucleus. So that is your clue. If you see the red nucleus, you are at the superior part of the membrane. Okay? Sino hindi nakakuha? Sino hindi naitindihan? Wala? Okay, again, that is the red nucleus. You have also the substantial nature and the cruciate. Okay? So what is the cranial nerve at this level? Class? What do you think is the cranial nerve at this level? Superior D. Pag nasa taas, cranial nerve number? Three. Very good. At the level of the inferior colliculus, Cranial nerve number four. Usually it is located lateral to the cerebral aqueduct. Okay? Sabran dami ba? Yes. Ang pagkagawa. Doktor ang pinili nyo. Okay? Please study the brainstem. 